Um, you know, uh, since uh, Chicago things have seemed to go relatively smooth for you, as a kicker, how do you rebound um, from some miscues like that and try to you know keep it out of your head? Um, you know, I think the mental side of the kicking game is the the hardest part. Um, I think that's what keeps a lot of talented people out of the NFL. Um, at the end of the day, to take one for Morton Anderson, it's it's all about the next kick. And I think our unit as a whole has done a really good job. You know, anytime something has go has gone wrong, we wash it and we move on to the next one. And I think we've shown that. So that's kind of our mentality. And um, obviously, we hope that nothing ever goes wrong, but it's not realistic. And um, when you're playing in a tough environment like Chicago with the, the wind and the, the grass there, um, we knew we were going to have a lot more opportunities. So um, we knew we had to wash it quick, but I think we're uh, pretty happy with where we're at right now. Next question from Rod Walker. Hey, Will, just from a psychological standpoint, how important was what this, what this team went through last year without Drew? How much did that help you all prepare for what you're about to go through? Uh, I don't think you can prepare for losing a first bat Hall of Famer, but I think, um, you know, last year, you know, we went through this already. We know as a team that we're going to find ways to win, and it just puts an emphasis on, you know, all all phases coming together, and I think last year we showed that, and um, it just shows that every phase has a role in winning these next few games, and um, that's what we're going to try and do. Next question from Amos Morales. Yeah, with these division games, particularly the Atlanta game, it seems like you know that game's always crazy. Something always uh, unique happens in it. Uh, as a kicker, do you kind of take that into consideration when preparing that you know this might come down to a special teams moment? Uh, I mean, look, I I love the game of football, so um, you know I I understand the rivalry with Atlanta and New Orleans. I grew up in Atlanta, so uh, this game is obviously a special game for everyone and. Um, you know, I would say as far as preparing for the game to come down to me, that's kind of what we do every week, right? I mean, uh, I never go into a game hoping it doesn't come down to me. So when my number's called, you know, I'd like to think I'm ready, and uh, and that goes through the preparation throughout the week. Next question from Amy Joss. Uh, with the special teams unit as a whole, how important have both uh, Deontay Harris and Marquez Cowboy been uh, for y'all? Uh, you know, in the past couple of weeks and the season as a whole. Yeah, Deontay is, is a uh, he's a special talent. Uh, I'm happy he's on my team. He's he's a scary guy to kick to. Um, and Mark has come in here and done a really good job for us. Uh, I'm happy for him. I'm happy to he's you know trying to trying to find his niche right now, and I think he's he's a great talent. So, um, but you know, just special teams as a whole right now, we have a really talented unit. We got some of the best gunners in the league. We have a great core core teams, and um, I think that's showing right now. How important is it for y'all collectively um, to, you know, be as big of an asset as you can, especially because, you know, Drew, you know, isn't playing for who knows how long? Yeah, look, we all want to be part of the win, right? Um, and, you know, we preach on how important all three phases are, and special teams is, is, is just as important as offense and defense. And uh, we take a lot of pride in what we do in New Orleans here, and, um, you know, we carry that to the game. And uh, all we can do is do, do – do our best to help the team win, and that's what we're going to try and do. Next question from Nick Underhill. I don't know if you're the right person to ask this because you make these picks anyhow, but there's a stat about kickers across the league hitting up more 50-yard field goals than ever. And I'm just curious if there's anything different about kicking in an empty stadium that maybe takes some nerves out of the process and, and maybe is, is aided with that? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I can't speak for everyone else. I do feel like... So far this year, I've done good at not noticing, you know, any noise. And even when there's, you know, 75,000 people, I think, you know, as a kicker, our best attribute is we're able to zone those those crowd noises out. And I think, you know, I was actually just talking to Thomas about this earlier. I just I feel like there hasn't been a huge difference as far as when we're actually, you know, out there on the field. So um, I, I think that's one of my best attributes is being able to really uh, zone out the crowd noise. And, you know, obviously there is no crowd noise, so I don't really – pay attention to it either but now I will say I think there's a lot of talented kickers in this league and it, it's showing this year I think you know it's a little weird no preseason games so it was a little slow start for a lot of people but you know with the talent we have in the kicker position this year I think I think the sky's the limit. Hey, Kevin Hart, 
Has that been something you've just always been able to do is, is zone it out or is that kind of like a mental toughness you, you develop to kind of take yourself somewhere else out of that or is it just natural? Or uh, I don't know if there's a correct answer to that. I think everyone develops that differently. I think um, for me it's just obviously the more kicks you get under your belt, the more high pressure, high pressure situations you're in, you kind of start to develop the ability to, to treat everything the same and you know, we went through we went through a lot my rookie year, and I credit that year, and you know the team sticking with me and really being able to push myself through those situations. I really credit that to be able to you know kind of go out there and treat every kick the same and you know, really getting to me where I am today. Next one from Rod Walker. Hey, Will, I can't remember if we asked you this before, but did you grow up a big Falcons fan, or and if not, I mean, just what do you kind of remember about that rivalry just growing up and you know, growing up there? Uh, growing up in Atlanta, I grew up an Atlanta sports fan. Um, you know, my parents went to the University of Georgia, so when it came to football, you know, my team was the Georgia Bulldogs. But, um, you know, obviously I went to Atlanta games growing up. I pulled for them when it came time, but um, obviously that has changed quite a bit over the last few years. But it's cool being able to play in my hometown. You know, I played in college. I played in the old Georgia Dome. So, um, you know, obviously anytime we play Atlanta, it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's special for me.